I'm going now. I went to H.P. Bill Secondary School in the Arts Program and graduated from grade 12 in 1966. I never drew from life, but I drew out of magazines like Photoplay. I would do schematic drawings of dams and trucks and things. And I just drew all the time. It seemed to be the only talent I had, and it was a sort of an obsessive occupation of mine. I guess it was a compulsion, if not a curse. Clear as daylight, he will go to hell. I developed as an artist in London, Ontario, and the sense of regionalism was pretty much ingrained in me. I mean, I think the basis of my work is what, say, Greg Kernel felt very strongly. You can make art of what's around you. So just relax. Everything's going to be just fine. People don't live exotic lives. We all live the same thing over and over again, hence the looping. I think there's an importance of that, and I think it's a, just an acknowledgement of the everyday of people. So I can't hear you, please. Can you say that louder? Adjustment. If I do pick other people in the work, it's because they represent some really interesting characteristic that I think is uh, universal or sort of global in a way. If not, I would act it up myself. Kind of expose me to the ways of the North, I guess you could say. It's kind of this hapless male. I think I can, I can be hapless better than most other people. <laughs> Which really opens a door to humor and so on and so forth that perhaps I'm, I wouldn't ask other people to do. Uh, oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh, okay. I think it was the appropriation of language by the early feminists where they really took it back on themselves to articulate where they were in history, who they are in contemporaneous society is what allowed me to start articulating that haplessness. As much as it perhaps liberated them and empowered them, I think in many ways it did for me as well. His heart is in the right place. Though his brain isn't. I once did a piece called All the Objects Have Meanings and Hierarchies. While trying to keep up with it. They become iconic. He has a short attention span. They're not just signs, you know, they're things of reverence and value. And I was only interested in sort of the repetitive, crazy motions you see people do, their sort of physical habits. I really thought they were very revealing, and so I needed to loop it. I wanted people to be complicit in the act of viewing. It was important for me that people saw the technology that made the magic happen. And because the beauty of technology, as I've said before, is that it's, it's a fantastic means to an end. I don't start with any prescriptions. I often don't know what I'm going to do. All these things are, are they're built. They don't come whole. I think experimentation is critical. I think without it, we don't really go forward. We tend to just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Life bewilders me, and, I, and this is where it becomes very subjective, I think, with my work. But I hope when it's externalized, there's a certain universality. <laughs> like a shared experience of not quite understanding things.